Hello, you're watching Lin TV, your local internet news station from Paphos. I'm Lucy Robson with the main stories today. If there is any doubt that the Paphos to Polis Highway is just a dream, this move should prove them wrong. The words of Paphos Akel MP Andreas Fagondis as the government announced a schedule of compensation payments for land to be expropriated in the project. The payments will start in December. However, Polis Municipality said that there are insufficient funds in the budget to cover all payouts this year. Remaining payments will be made in 2009. Plans for the multi-million euro project, regarded as a lifeline for Polis tourism, have had several false starts. A 38-year-old man has been arrested in connection with an explosion in Kisonaga late Sunday night. The blast occurred in a carpentry unit. Nobody was hurt, but hundreds of thousands of euros of damage were caused, and residents were badly shaken by the incident. Paphos Harbour is to get a facelift in the form of several new piers. The Paphos Ports Authority announced the plans today, saying that the upgrade, creating more boat berths, would be good for business. Plans to overhaul Paphos Harbour into a mini marina were abandoned earlier this year. Cyprus's finance ministry is to meet with commercial banks to push for a drop in interest rates on personal and business loans. The hike was implemented late last week, with banks claiming that the extra funds would create more liquidity. The profits would be used for further loans to stimulate cash flow in the market in order to buffer against economic stagnation, but public outcry against the hikes have triggered the government move. President Christofias and Turkish Cypriot leader Mehmet Ali Talat met for the first of two meetings this week, this afternoon, in the presence of the UN Special Representative to Cyprus, Alexander Downer, as settlement talks continue. Administration was on the agenda. The two leaders will meet again on Thursday. Finally, a change in weather is expected over the coming days as the Met Office forecasts showers and possible thunderstorms, along with a temperature drop of 2 degrees. That's all for today. We hope you join us again at the same time tomorrow for a fresh update of news from Paphos. From all of us here at Lynn TV, thank you for watching.